In this video, we are going to talk about reflexive verbs. Reflexive verbs, also called pronominal verbs, are used with the pronoun se at the infinitive or s apostrophe before a vowel or a silent h. We talk about reflexive verbs when the subject performs the action to itself. In other words, the subject and the object are the same. For instance, se laver, to wash oneself. Je me lave, I am washing myself. As you can notice, the pronoun se changes depending on the subject. So, for je, we have the reflexive pronoun me, or m apostrophe before a vowel or a silent h. The English translation is myself. Tu, te, or ti apostrophe, yourself. Il, elle, on, we keep se, or s apostrophe, himself, herself, itself, oneself. Nous, the reflexive pronoun is actually the same, nous, ourselves. Vous, same reflexive pronoun, vous, yourself. And il, elle, plural, we keep se, or s apostrophe, themselves. At the negative form, we have subject, ne, reflexive pronoun, conjugated verb, for example, nous ne nous lavons pas. We are not washing ourselves. Uh, notice that in French we use reflexive verbs more often than in English. In English it is often implied. Note as well that most reflexive verbs exist in a non-reflexive form as well. For instance, tu laves la voiture, you are washing the car. In French, reflexive verbs are also used to talk about actions that one performs on one's body, whereas English uses the possessive adjective instead. For instance, je me lave les mains, and notice that we use the definite article. I wash my hands. Some verbs only exist at the reflexive form. For instance, se souvenir, to remember. There is no verb souvenir, it only exists as se souvenir. The meaning of other verbs changes at the reflexive form. For instance, attendre, to wait, s'attendre à, to expect. For example, j'attends le bus, I'm waiting for the bus. Je m'attends à ce qu'il vienne, I expect it to arrive. Reflexive verbs can also be used to convey a passive meaning and they are going to be translated by the passive voice in English. For instance, je m'appelle Sarah has a passive meaning. I am called Sarah rather than I call myself Sarah. Or more commonly, you would translate it, my name is Sarah. You also have reciprocal verbs. They have the same form as the reflexive verbs, but they are used when the action works two ways. In English, you use each other or one another. They are always at the plural form or with subjects with a plural meaning, such as the pronoun on or a collective noun. For instance, s'aimer, to love each other. Ils s'aiment, they love each other. Note that this is ambiguous because ils s'aiment could also mean they love themselves. But uh, the context will clarify that normally. Au revoir. Created using Powtoon.